two points per game last year to go along with 6.6 .6 rebounds. Asia is joining us now. Asia, thanks so much for jumping on with us. What is this is such a unique year because everyone gets an extra year to have all of your starters back this year. What is the chemistry like as you have basically everyone back that, that you're familiar with? Man, we're ready to come back strong. Um, the chemistry is really well. We got some new faces and we all just, it's a puzzle piece and we all just completed the puzzle piece. Now this season, we're ready to work. Um, last season definitely hit us. COVID definitely hit us hard. So this season, we definitely got something to prove. We're going to toss it out to Tom now with our first questions from the media. Thanks, Asia. No problem. Hey, uh, just a reminder to uh, use the, the raise hand feature in the chat uh, if you want to ask a question. We'll go to uh, Jacob Albrack uh, for our first question. Hey, Asia, just it, it was mentioned there in the introduction that you guys had to deal with a lot early in the season, missing players, dealing with COVID, all kinds of different things. What's been the difference now between that and this year where things have gone much better in that realm? Um, definitely last year, COVID hit us hard, um, like I said. So, like, we had, like, six players. Sometimes we only practiced with five players. A lot of people was out um, sick. So, basically, this year, we definitely got a lot of new faces. And we got a full team. We got 15 new players. So, we can scrimmage as much as we want. We got many people to practice with. Um, we all getting better daily. And the chemistry is just great between all of us. And we're very excited. All right, our next question will come from uh, Chris Lilly. Hey, Asia. Um, just, you know, going into this, you know, second year at WSU, kind of what is the thing you've been working on most and maybe what has been the biggest difference from last year to this year for you? Um, for me, the biggest difference is um, last year I was shooting threes and I was playing inside. I had a lot of shots from the high post area. So this summer I've definitely been working on footwork down in the paint. Um, trying to be more aggressive. Um, I averaged like six rebounds last year, so this season I'm definitely looking to average at least 10 or more. So I've been on the boards a lot. Um, and then just working on my shot, being consistent with that. Asia Brooke Weisbrod back here in the studio. You know, you just talked about some things that you really would like to work on. But you're going to be able to work on those in front of fans this year. And how excited are you to play in front of a loud arena? Because you guys get down out there. I've been out there for a game, and it's wild. Yeah, we're happy to have fans finally. Um, just yesterday, we had a whole of uh, the fan group in the arena, and it felt like a real game. So I'm excited for this season to finally have fans and cheering for us and just having high hopes for us. Asia, Chris Button here in the studio. G give me a sense of um, what you guys have been able to do with, you know, last year you didn't have the practices, you didn't get to have the off-season get-togethers, just what you guys have done to prep for a season that you, that you didn't get to do last year. To prep for the season, we definitely been in practice. Like, even though we don't have practice, like, every day, we definitely come here on the off days to shoot on the gun, make sure we all getting shots up. We hold each other accountable. Um, either, even me as a leader, people hold me accountable, and I like that as a player. And just being on this team is a great feeling. Um, everyone is just is is really great. Like I'm really so excited, and I have no words for it. But to prepare <laughs> for the season, we definitely just listen to Coach Adams and her game plan, and running the plays correctly, and just putting everything together. Oh. All right, we'll go to uh, Chris Lilly for a follow up. Yeah, and Adrian, you know, having all these returners and all the experience that you guys bring back, just how close are you guys maybe to taking that next step in the conference this year? Oh, we're definitely going to be, oh, we're definitely going to be competitive. Competitive, like I said, we got 15 players, and we all we all coming strong. We know what we got to do to prove. This year, we, our goal is to go to March Madness. We're, we're definitely got to be, go, we got to go there because. This last season, um, we was close. We was very close, and we was playing with like seven people. So now we got a full team. We got the confidence. We got the great coaches. We got the chemistry. So we're ready to fight. Asia Strong, thanks so much for joining us. Looking forward to watching you have a successful season. Thank you so much. She said, I mean, last year only playing with seven. When you have everyone back, what is the next step that they need to do to, to be able to um, kind of be there in the top of the conversation? 
They just got to compete, you know, and now that a team, when you have consistency in reps, it, it creates not only chemistry, but it allows things to just flow so much easier on the offensive end with, hey, we're getting ready to run this play and we're going to execute it. And you know what's going to happen with just a look. And you can't have those things unless you have practice. When you got limited players, you're trying to bring in practice players. Like, who are the guys <laughs> on campus? Like, you're just reaching for anybody to get a full squad. That makes a huge difference. Hoping no one gets injured. Mike, this is what will be interesting about this season. There will be a lot of teams that bring back four to five of their starting rotation from a year ago because of the extra year that COVID gave. How much um, – I mean, that's got to be a coach's dream, really, just restock and reload from last year. There's no question, but to follow up on Brooks' excellent point, it is about continuity on offense for Wichita State. And if you have a player like Asia Strong back, who's one of the best scorers out of the pick and roll and pick and pop in the American Conference, when you're adding pieces, not just new faces, but players coming back for junior and senior years, that allows you to be more competitive in practice. And if you're more competitive in practice around that anchor of Asia, Asia. it's just going to create better continuity on offense. It's no big secret, right? You want players to come back that understand your system. But when you do have a player like Asia, it changes everything. Even though she's more of a front court player, her ability to pick and pop, it's hard to scout against that because sometimes she could be orchestrating the offense at the top of the key, and you might have a post defender who's not used to that. That's why I think the key for a successful Wichita State season, all those players returning, continuity on offense for the Shockers is everything. Well, let's join head coach Keith Adams, her fifth here as the head coach of Wichita State. Thanks so much for joining us, Coach. We, we've talked about the amount of players returning of your starting five. What's that like for you as a coach? I mean, everyone's back. You know what you have in front of you. And to also be able to add that depth. Well, it's great. Um, it definitely helps you in practice uh, with your newcomers when you're able to put five returners on the floor and they can – show our newcomers what our system is and how we do things. Uh, so that helps the process of the teaching with your with your new players. And that experience, uh, you know, I have a, a raspy voice right now, but uh, <laughs> if we had all freshmen, I might not be able to even talk. So, you know, that makes a big difference in your practices. Yeah, I've been a little bit of talking in, in practice recently, Coach. Let's join Tom now with some questions from the media. All right, our first question is going to be from Jacob Albrack of KWCH. Hey coach, when you look at this hey, team now versus the team a year ago, do you feel like the skill level's higher, the talent level's higher? Um, what, what are the, some of those types of things that'll help you guys, you know, exceed expectations certainly? Yes, um, I think we've added some uh, nice players for both our, our inside game uh, with Ella and uh, Jane Asende. They both uh, are gonna help us uh, in the paint. And then we've added several guards that, uh, you know, fit our defensive system. And then uh, we've added some shooters uh, with the newcomers. And so, you know, I think you have uh, the experience that we're bringing back. And then this addition of our newcomers who uh, bring specific things that we were looking for. Um, it's going to make our team uh, an improved team um, and having more depth. Uh, you know, we, we really found our team last year in terms of, Going through COVID, um, at the end of the year, um, we knew, you know, these these ladies were really bought in and really wanted to play the game, um, and had each other's backs. And then we were very particular about who we added. Um, so we have great chemistry. Uh, these young ladies work extremely hard. Uh, they're good teammates, and um, it's it's all those other intangibles that help you. Uh, to really build a, a good team and have a, a strong culture. And uh, that's what we've added, and, and we feel great about that. And then just a quick follow-up, just as a coach, how excited are you for these kids to get the chance at a more normal season? <laughs> Normalcy, yes. I mean, it... it uh, it last year, I mean, it it, uh, it was really a challenging season, and and with what we went through, I think a lot of programs would have shut their seasons down, uh, but we did not do that, um, and I think that's a testament to to our players and how much they love to play and their resiliency, and uh, I definitely feel we're going to benefit from that la this year with what we went through last year, 
and we we stayed in there and hung in there tough together even though it was it was a tough time but uh, I'm really happy that the players are going to be able to to be able to play in front of crowds and 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 have more normalcy it's you know COVID's still there so you still you still have to deal with some things with it but um, we are in a much better place this year than we were a year ago. All right, we'll go to Chris Lilly from uh, KAKE. Hey, Coach. Um, does, how, how impressive was what Asia was able to do in her first year out of junior college? And kind of what does that next level look like as she gets ready for the, her uh, senior year? Well, I think, uh, you know, the first time I watched Asia play, I really I liked her game and, and saw a lot of potential in her. And um, so what she did for us last year was was not surprising to me. I mean, we felt like uh, when we signed her, we we knew we were we were getting a player that was gonna have a good positive impact on our on our team and help us. Um, she's had a good off season, and uh, you know I think that this year, you know, sometimes with transfers and junior college players, uh, you have to give a year to get a year. But you know with her ability, she was able to to produce and and step up and be a big part, even her first year, and so. You know, she has a better understanding of this level and what we do um, to where I think, um, you know, this year will even be a better year for her. And she set some goals for herself and what she wants to do this season that she didn't do last year. Um, so she's motivated. All right, our next question will be from Sean Marty of the Sunflower. Yeah, Coach, uh, just having three seniors, not, and not including Asia, but with Carla, Seraphine, Intrajada in their fourth year of the program. How much do you think that will help the team just with their experience in the program? Well, their uh, their experience is definitely gonna you know make a huge huge uh, positive uh, influence on what we're doing. I think that um, you know when we started this, we had eight seniors when I took the job, and so we pretty much had to put a whole new team together and. Uh, those guys, their freshman year, were we were the fifth youngest team in the country, and and so there's there's a lot of experience that they've gained uh, through their three seasons of playing for us, and uh, you know that's that's going to be beneficial to us without a doubt. Adam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to watch you play November 9th. You guys start the season. Good All luck right. this year. Thank you. You too. Well, that wraps up which.